All right, I'll show you my setup. Make sure you subscribe. And with the subscription, I'll be doing updated videos on how it's been working um, so far for the past few days. It's been 95, 100 degrees, um, and it's been cooling really well. Hope you enjoy. All right, I'm finally getting this last piece of the video up. As you can see, I've got my misters, some turned inside, some turned outside. I've got a total of six, three turned in, three turned out. The turned in ones uh, spraying directly on the coils. The turned out ones kind of misting around. The unit's on, sorry for the audio. Here's the hookup and I keep this board in front of it to block the sun from everything because plastic will get brittle in the sunlight. Uh, it will degrade it fairly quickly. Um, one thing to remember, and it's kind of a recap on this, crack this just a little bit. Uh, to get your optimum flow out of the misters, the misters are doing something like a quarter gallon an hour of running, which they typically don't run all the time. Crack this a little bit just in case something happens within your system and something breaks and it starts spraying water. You don't want to have uh, an extra $40 added onto your water bill before you see this because this could happen in a day and you might not get back uh, You might not notice it for a while because this is on the opposite side of my house. I don't necessarily come over here. Anyway, the setup is Calcium filter here um, 10 uh, rating of 10 I've got this uh, Solenoid switch here. It has an on and off switch so I could turn it on to leave it on all the time or the solenoid switch will do it whenever the 24 volt is contacting. Look, the unit cut off and the sprayer is cut off. Uh, going down to a 0.05 rating filter, which filters everything, uh, any, any type of sediment. So what's coming out of this is like super good. I mean, you could drink this water. It's not gonna leave deposits on the coils, which a lot of people worry about is, oh, the water is gonna eat up my coils and deposits are gonna get put on it. Uh, really, I mean, rain's coming down out of the sky, highly filtered, obviously, from the rain. Um, so these things are designed to have water on them, so filter them as much as possible. Uh, the, the wiring, just spliced it uh, coming up. I just ran it up into the bottom of it, hooked it to the 224. I believe on my unit it was uh, brown for the common and yellow uh, for the 24. Um, so I just hooked it to it. Um, you want to make sure to turn the power off to the unit. However, the 24 volt is determined by what's inside. So how I knew it was working without having to have power to this is I just changed the setting, wait until it come on, and then I hear the solenoid click down here and water starts spraying. And I don't necessarily have to have the fan on. Uh, be very careful with electricity. I didn't show that part for a reason. There are other videos, but everyone's unit's different. I don't want to be... The person uh, that everybody's coming in about be like hey you led me in the wrong direction uh, the very last thing is so you have the fan out here which draws air and the the water through the coils get cool uh, cooled by this I'm sure you kind of know all this information it's very important to make sure your system is running as efficiently as possible make sure that all the grass is clean you don't have anything on the coils because that'll disrupt airflow that will hinder the cooling ability. Also, there's essentially the same thing on the inside of the house, the, hair, the air handler. Uh, essentially, the, the filter that you have in there that you have to change out all the time, air flows through the filter and goes through the coils. If you've ever had a period of time where the filters have been very dirty, you've neglected them, or they've even pulled up and let regular air go through, um, or it's just been a long time. It could be very, very beneficial. You could be losing about 25 to 30%, if not more, of your cooling ability because of the unit inside. I cleaned mine. Uh, that's why I ended up getting the new unit. I cleaned mine, and there was like hair from like the previous owner's animals. There was stuff. I took a brush and I was scrubbing it. I got a ton of stuff. It was definitely affecting the cooling ability. So I would definitely recommend that. Uh, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. All right, so what I've done, I've hooked my filter onto the garden spigot itself. Then I put my regulator. Then I put my 0.5 micron filter uh, where it will remain here on the ground. 
Uh, I've got the connections here for the uh, the 24 volt and it's coming over here and this is where it's coming from the house um, then I'll run it inside here and I've got the water line coming up here slightly above where my first connection is because it starts to leak because it's connected to the, the like on the power except that's completely waterproof so um, it's just kind of so it'll drip uh, then I've got one two three four five six seven I've got seven sprayers all pointed to the inside and the reason it's pointed to the inside is uh, the water being on the coils and there will be directly cooling them so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the spigot so it's turned on and then I don't have it hooked up to the 24 volt yet so I just want to make sure everything works so once I flip this I hear them all spraying so we're getting a nice amount of water uh, coming out and I think each one of these little nozzles is rated for a uh, half gallon an hour maybe a little bit more um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this to the point to where it's doing a very minimum amount. Um, and also I'll be covering this up uh, from being in the direct sunlight. Uh, this material that they use for these, it uh, degrades fairly quickly in sunlight. So it'll break. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, where I have it barely turn on, in case something up here breaks or down here and it just starts spraying water, um, you know, you might not find it for a few days, you could lose a lot of gallons over a few days so that's completely off I hear it I'm gonna slow I'm gonna lightly crack it and we've got it spraying it's got a nice little you can't I guess you can see it slightly right there it's got a nice little mist I'm gonna open it just a little bit more it's about right there uh, my my uh, city water here has uh, 80, P 80 stagnant PSI, so it's quite high where I'm at. Um, so it gives really good water flow. Anyway, uh, this is what I've got. Adding three nozzles will cool about 580 BTU. Um, so I've got more than that. So this is almost a thousand. It's not gonna be completely efficient. Um, but it does work really well. Uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, you'll see that. Thanks for watching.